Sometimes people will ask me if there was one piece of advice that you could give to anybody that was on a journey, whether they're a creative person or just anybody at all that felt lost or needed guidance. The answer that I, that I always give, and I say this to myself too, is pay attention to your dreams. And I don't mean like your aspirations for your life. I mean the dreams that you have at night and you know, record them and pay attention to them. And one of the reasons why I think this is so true, I'm gonna re recommend a book here called Inner Work, is that the, uh, the dreams are our unconscious communicating with us. And I'm a huge believer that the unconscious is far wiser than we are and has even tapped into a dimension of reality, a divine dimension that really knows things can, and can even predict the future and things like that. And so how do you tap into your dreams? Here's a, this is a wonderful book called Inner Work by Robert Johnson. It's a book that, that I use. Robert Johnson is a famous Jungian therapist. And it's really, it's about how to interpret your dreams. And I can tell you that in my life, there are many moments when a dream sort of interceded at a moment when I was in great doubt or hesitancy or, or confusion and kind of set me straight. And I've talked to many people and read many books and the same sort of thing happens. A dream can be like a mentor to you. Now, a couple of things that Robert Johnson says that's really interesting is um, dreams speak in a different language. They speak in the language of symbols. And so if you have a dream and your mother appears to you or a child appears to you or some famous person appears to you, one of the things you can be certain about is that the dream does not mean that person literally. It's not literally your mother saying something like that. It is. It depends upon what associations you have with that figure. Like you might have a, you know, an actor or a politician appears in your dream. You know, Richard Nixon, you know, appears at your bedside and says something. And so one of the things that Robert Johnson teaches you to do in this book is to get into your, what are your associations with that character? If it's Richard Nixon, what does that mean to you? Is he a crook or whatever, whatever. Um, another really important thing about dreams that uh, Robert Johnson says is that even if it's what you would call a bad dream, a nightmare, something that you wake up from sweating and in terror, a lot of times they can be really good dreams if once you get to the interpretation of them, you might see that something where you were fleeing from this horrible you know, monster or something really uh, means something that, that you can turn to your advantage. In, in your own life. So like another thing Robert Johnson says that I think is really important is he says when you have a big dream, something that you know is really important to you, he says do something, some act that concretizes that dream, that makes it so, so it'll stick with you in your mind. Like one of the great dreams I had in my life, this is in the War of Art, I talk about this in the War of Art, was uh, I had a dream that I was on an aircraft carrier. And, but the aircraft carrier was on dry land. It was stuck, not in, the, and not in the water, which was exactly, of course, how I felt in my life at the time. And on this aircraft carrier, I sort of knew there was a character, a Marine gunnery sergeant who was called Largo. And in the dream, this was like the coolest name I could ever think of for a character. And Everybody else on this aircraft carrier was in great distress because we were stuck on dry land and we couldn't move. And uh, at one point, I was standing at the rail of this car carrier with the captain. He'd come over to talk to me. And uh, I was nervous talking to him and I could see that he was in great distress about his ship being stuck on dry land. And he turned to me and he said, what the hell are we gonna do, Largo? And I realized, you know, I mean, that was like a great moment for me. I mean, it was a moment where they was, the dream was telling me, you're the boss of your own, of your own existence. So you're the guy that really knows what's going on. So I went out and I got a couple of name tags, like ID tags that said Largo on them. And I still have them to this day. And when I sit down to work, when I sit down to write, I put my little Largo tag on. And um, so Diana just ran into the house and uh, she got uh, my little uh, military.com fleece, 
with the Largo tag on. This is the Largo ID tag that I use. And when I put it on, I've got, you know, that I'm Largo. So another great piece of wisdom from Robert Johnson to concretize any great dream that you have. I'm definitely a believer that dreams are a, a great uh, resource to our unconscious, our unconscious that is far wiser than we are. And this book, Inner Work by Robert Johnson, is a great guide to how to interpret dreams. Inner Work by Robert Johnson.